Enough, huh? Ah! Uh, oh my God! What you scared me I'm to death. So, you so terrified sorry. me. You're such a terrible person. Didn't it occur to you that something might happen to our baby? What? Is something How wrong? I know what if something's wrong or not? Oh Give me God. that! Give me that! You're going Give it to, get to me! A stomach oh, ache. That's not your concern. Look, it's hard for me to climb up the stairs. Give how it do you to eat me, this Faramas. disgusting thing? Give it to me and I'll show you how I eat it. I won't. Oh, give it. Give it to me, Faramaz. Faramaz, stop playing around. Oh. <laughs> don't run, don't run. It's not good for give the baby. The bowl. Stop being so stubborn. Give me back the bowl. Here you go. Oh, Faramaz. What's wrong with you? I'll get you anything you want except black cash. Anything? I promise. Snow. I promise. Snow. Snow. Snow? I want to eat snow and syrup so bad. In this season? Yes, you said you'd get me anything I wanted. OK. I'll do that. I'll get you snow. There am Mars. Yeah. Where are you going? To get you snow. From where? You don't have to worry about that. There am Mars. Yes? Where'd you put the bowl? Do you want to eat that too? No. Promise? I promise. In the village of Shamarud, Hassani was all alone. There was no fruit, no vegetable, no chicken or anything for him to play with. In the village of Shalamrut, poor Hassani was all alone. There was no fruit, 
no vegetable, no chicken, or anything to play with him. Bravo! That was great. Now it's my turn, okay? Okay. Once upon a time, there were three fairies, and they lived in a giant castle far away. In the village of Shalamrud, Hassani was all alone. There was no fruit, no vegetables. The rest here, where can I get snow? How am I supposed to get you snow to make you happy? What are you doing? Oh! What are you doing here? Weren't you sleeping? I was hungry, so I couldn't sleep. What are you doing? Taking snow for Foreste. Snow. <laughs> She's craving for snow and syrup at this time of night. <laughs> Faramaz, I have a question. Go ahead. Do you still love her like you did when you first got married? Of course. I went on a hunger strike for 22 days for her. Don't you know that? <laughs> I heard. Mother told me how she'd bring you food without father knowing about it. She brought me food, but I didn't eat it. Well, you didn't eat it. Yeah. And how did you stay alive? I did eat, but very little, so I wouldn't die. Way to go. You ate very little. <laughs> Here's the snow. Now I'll put some oxymel on it, and it'll be a fine snow with oxymel. Faramaz. Yes? Did you find out what Syed Khalil's written in the letter? How so? It seems like ever since Father read that letter, he's much angrier. Hey, son, you're crazy in love. People who fall in love fall into two categories. Some of them go and sit on top of the rooftop and watch the moon, and others like you get delusional. But if he's written, I took Munir and the kids to Koram Shah Market, then everything's ruined for our Mars. Khalil's not a traitor. Then what's he written in that letter? Oh, come on. Give it a rest, man. You know, Faramaz, but you're not telling me. Come to the field tomorrow and shovel the land. Faramaz, if you do know and you're not telling me, you're a real jerk. You're a jerk. Sending me on a wild goose chase every single day. Get in the front. Oh, I'm not sitting there. I'm not front. sitting in the front. What on earth took you so long? I'm sorry. You never used to listen to the radio, Father. This is better. What's he doing here? Well, he's here to help. I don't need anybody's help. Okay, Haji, he's here to help me, okay? 
If it's all right with you, we can go and check out the car. Go get your things right away. We have to go. We have a lot of work to do. OK, Father. Come with me, this way. Come with me. He won't leave me alone for a second to smoke a cigarette with a peace of mind. I'm sorry, it's my fault. No, man, it's better this way. I'll smoke less. Hey, Sean, take these to the oil storage, OK? Mm. Then this is what you'll do. You'll give two 1,000 litres to Corda Mir's branch uh -huh. and Kuran village and 500 to the mm -hmm. bakery. So you'll give the 500 to the bakery, OK? Very much. Oh, yeah. Hurry up. I'm coming, Haji, OK. He's not going to let me smoke this cigarette. I'll quit. It's better. Baramaz, I'm sorry. Go on. Go on. It's going to be all right. Haji, you need to just... Sir, hello. Hello. Buy a bigger container so we can at least see each other once a week. Very ah. well. Very well. I certainly will, for sure. Here you go, son. Here you go. Here you take this. Thank you very much. Here's the oil voucher. Take it. Take it before I forget. Yes. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. Haji, change this. It's been expired for a month. The radio's announced it so many times. Are you sure? OK, OK. Here, take this. Take it here, go. Thank you very much. I don't much. owe you anything, you. do I, son? Yes. Send my best to Faramaz. Thank I'll you. tell him you said Thank hi. You very take much. care, Haji. Thank you and good luck. Oh, come on. Why are you following me now? All I need is one barrel. Look, don't you get it? This tanker has only oil for people with vouchers. I can't even give you I a litre. I wanted to order some too, and? but the mayor's cancelled all the coupons. Well, go and buy it without a coupon. It's way too expensive. Have you heard the war started? War? <laughs> no, man, it's just a rumour. We've been hearing bang-bang noises for a year now. I just got back from Khorub Shah and it's Can safe. you give me a barrel? Please. Sir, read my lips. I can't give you any without a coupon. Now leave me alone so I can get on with my work. Thank you very much. Go on. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Oh, and mind your hand, mind your hand. Allah is great. Godspeed. Go and have some. Allah's Come on. Thank great. you. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. of September, by opening the airports, many people fled into Abbas. As a result, Godspeed, Haji. Fifteen people have been martyred, and many have been injured. Here you go. Did you read Khalil's letter, Father? Huh? Well, if Khalil says she has a good family, then let's do it. There's no need to do more thinking. Well, he's stubborn. If he were to let go of the girl, he would have done it by now. Haji, you want him to get married. Sooner or later, so why wait? Why don't you spread your wings and help him out? Take mother and Monir, go to Karam Shah and put an end to it. Allah is great. Allah is great. It's Khalil's letter. Read it. Thank you. Did you talk to father? What? Nothing. I said, did you find out what the letter says? No. Faramaz, tell me the truth. Is something wrong? No, man. I spoke to Haji, buddy. I convinced him a little, but he's not going to talk to you until he reads Khalil's letter. Syed's letter? But uh -huh. I saw him reading Syed Khalil's letter last night. What do you want? That's what he told me. He wants to send us on a wild goose chase. I'm sure of it.
I don't know, maybe. He's found out about what happened to Mahabit, but he doesn't want to confront me. You know, there's something wrong about all of this. It's like he doesn't want me to find out about it. Are you listening to me? Huh? What? Tell me, is there something over there? No, man. Look. Look. Tonight, if I see it's a good time to talk to Haji, I will. Now get back to work, little brother. Huh? Okay. I'll get back to work very well. I'm here to work. <gasps> oh, oh goodness! No. Mohammed, what happened? I what don't know. Happened? Hang on. Uh, uh. Baramas! Baramas! Ugh. Hey, chubby oh, boy! Oh, hey, <laughs> hello, hello, John. Son. My good friend. No, hello. no, buddy, you get back to work. I so don't tell want to me, what you. brings How you here, you? son? You I heard you had a really good time in the South. Oh, so you've heard. I'm so lucky to have such good friends, aren't I? Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. You're young. Apparently, my brother Faramaz can't keep a secret. Is that right? He comes and pays a visit three or four times a week. Unlike you, he likes his good friend Jahan. Yes, obviously. And I'm supposed to believe that. What's wrong with this? it? This? Nothing. It's all mixed up. I was trying to fix the wiring, but it all got mixed up, and when I hit the flasher, the wiper started working. I don't know what's going on here. When you turn on the heater, it flashes start to work. Anyway, it's all mixed up. <laughs> Tell me, why don't you be a man and make a move first? Go to the girl and tell her you want to marry her. That's all. Put an end to it once and for all. When I wanted to leave school and go to the vocational school, nobody had the courage to tell my father. My mom said he'd cut my head off and play football with it if I did it. I wish your mama had let your father cut off your head. Get out of here. Go on. Start the engine so I can see what's wrong with the car. Go on. Oh, 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 oh. What have you done to it, my boy? Were you trying to make macaroni? Turn the engine on, man. Can you see that pointer behind that dirty glass over there? Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. My uncle also spoke to him. My grandfather was totally useless. The neighbors spoke to him, but it didn't work. I spoke to him. I told him I didn't have what it took to study, and I told him that I couldn't memorize the lesson. The teachers told me I was just wasting my time there. That's why I want to go and learn some kind of skill. I also said not everyone's supposed to be a doctor. Start it. Anyway, after five minutes of silence and him staring at me, suddenly he became very calm and he told me to do whatever the hell I wanted. So the very next day I dropped out of school and I went straight to the vocational school and studied auto mechanics and auto electricity and became a master at what I do, really. But Mr. So-called genius, if my father tells me to go off and do whatever the hell it is I want and doesn't come to the proposal ceremony, who am I supposed to take? But I think he'll come along. What if he doesn't? He will, man. Don't I know my own father better than you do? Honestly, this time it's an exception. You're right, he might not go with me. Turn it on. Honk the horn. Hit the wiper. That's good. Lights. How's it? Get out, it's fine. Thank you very much. Mind your hand, mind your hand. It's good to go. Man, look at you, you're a genius. I just can't wrap my head around the fact that you haven't been able to convince your father to give you permission to marry that girl. And I can't wrap my head around why your father didn't cut your head off. If he did, your customers would have been free of you. You've been wasting this guy's time for two weeks over two wires. Stop taunting me already, Edison. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Not everyone's a genius like you are. We thank you for your hard work. Let's drive around town and I'll buy you one of those popsicles you like so very much. Let's get going. Let's go. Off to you. Let's go. <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on.
Mohammed, dear, give this plate of cucumbers to Father. Father, have some cucumbers. Careful, kiddo. Will you take me to the telecommunication company when you're free? Paramas? Mm. Mm. I don't know why Khalil hasn't called. He was supposed to call me at the neighbor's house. I'm so worried about him. OK, I'll give him a call. He must be busy, honey. I want to go with you, too. <sighs> the telecommunication company's crowded, dear. You should stay at home here with the kids. Go on, son. Son, come on, let's go. Oh, Ali. Oh. Oh, why isn't there anything on TV? So what? Well, maybe it's broken. It's not broken. I can turn it on, but I don't know why it's all grainy. No, it's not. Yes, it is. OK, I'll take a look at it. <laughs> you know the first thing about televisions to take a look at it. Uh, oh, well, come on. the problem's obvious. It must be the antenna. Well, yeah. You're going to make it worse. I fixed it myself. I'm off. Excuse me, Mother. Here, have a cucumber. Thank you. You can go ahead and join the gang if you want to. Go on. Thank God I'm not like either one of them. Come on. That's enough. Oh, 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 he got insulted. My brother takes everything by heart. You have to be a bit careful with him. Look, I swear I didn't mean anything bad. Goodness, my love. We can't choose who we love. You mean that's how a person in love is like? Uh, I hate it when that happens. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> you like this, Esan, right? You're happy, aren't you? About what? Well, Haji gave you permission to come and work on the field and soon you'll be his favourite child and then we'll all be singing Here Comes the Bride. I doubt the Haji even knows whether I'm working on the field or not. Tell me, have you told him anything? Have you told him anything at all? Honestly, no. Haji, count it and see how many it is. Take that, take that from him. If Haji finds out, it'll be a disaster. He has to find out very, very slowly. Like when? Well, if you have another idea, tell me. That's the only idea I have in mind. Soft and tender, right? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, let's go over there and pick those. Mohammed, do you want me to teach you a game? What game? Popscotch, look here, it's like this. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much. Amir doesn't like to eat any other milk or yogurt than this. He says the yogurt Mama Faramaz makes. I like cream. Thank you, my dear. Tell you what, I'll give you a bucket when you're leaving. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look, if you have anything you want to sew, I'll have Monia sew it for you. Oh, is Monia a dressmaker? A great one. <laughs> All right. By the way, have you heard from your son-in-law? He's fine. Thank God he's fine. The poor guy is risking his life for his job. Well, having a military job's always dangerous. But hi. The war has nothing to do with working for the military or not. Goodness, all of them, they're playing with people's lives. What war is this? It's only a couple of gunshots been fired and it'll end soon. A couple of gunshots? They've been blowing people up non-stop since last night. It's been pretty quiet for the last few days. Tell me, you're trying to fool yourselves or are you trying to make a fool out of me? Look, the news said it's war. Not only have a hundred people been killed since last night, but two hundred people have lost <sighs> their lives. Oh, what happened? It's not like we're strangers for you to hide things from us. Monia wants to know what Khalil's letter says. Disarray is an awful thing. 
I didn't want to cause anyone any distress. Nice job. You were lucky you didn't lose. Oh, you lost! You had to lose. throw it in the box. Oh, you should have thrown it in lose. here. Look, lose. that's four. You should have thrown it in number three. <laughs> oh, he's angry, sweetheart. Auntie, I'm tired. Don't you like hopscotch anymore? I like it. Why can't we go to Grandad's room? Oh, honey, the older members of the family are all gathered there and they're talking about grown-up things. So that's why they've sent the children out here to play. All right? Do you understand? Things have been quite chaotic in Koramsha for a while now. If war starts up, I might have to go on a mission for a very long time and I might not be able to come and visit and get you and the kids from Kord Amir. Don't withhold your love from the children. Keep an eye on them and don't let them leave you until I come and get them. Please, I beg you, Esan, at a suitable time, which, God willing, will be some time after the distress, we'll talk about him settling down. After God, I am leaving Monir and the children in your hands. I am looking forward to seeing you soon. Please pray for me. Love you all. Saeed Khalil. Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? What difference would it make? If there's going to be a war, it'll be a war for everyone. So many people of Khuzestan are still there with their families. Thank God Khalil's mind is at ease because he knows his wife and children are safe. I'd, I'd have the heart to leave him all by himself. There was nothing you could have done if you'd stayed there. At least I would have known where he was, what he was doing, or how he was, that's all. God willing, he's all right. He's been through a lot in life. He's been using guns and working for the military all his life. He can take care of himself. So, all the things you told me about him being all right was just a bunch of lies. He was fine. His co-worker said he was fine. Did you talk to him? You're starting to make everyone cry. How about we go and give him a call in the middle of the night, huh? That town's not like this hellhole. They have walkie-talkies and they're constantly talking to each other. <laughs> Monia, Monia, hang on, Monia. Oh, I swear, yeah. if you don't take me to him, I'll hit the road in the middle of the night. Every man sending his wife and children away to Khuzestan, off to other cities. Why do you want to go there in the middle of this chaos? Look, sister, if Khalil wanted you there with him, he wouldn't have sent you here. I wouldn't have left him all by himself if I knew. He has plenty to worry about right now, and if you go there, you'll only be adding to his worries. God forbid something happens to you, who's going to look after your kids? Then what am I supposed to do? <laughs> God bless you, young man. God bless you, young man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Come by and visit Man, me. Get some mirrors so I can fix my hair. It gets all messed up you when broke I sit on the them bike. And you wanted me to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Uncle Essen's home. Children, stay here and play for a minute. I'll be right back. Sweetheart, get a grip on yourself. Don't let him find out what's going on. Come on, my darling, let's go inside. Go to him. Keep an eye on him. Don't let him find out what's going on. Oh. 
Baramaz, what's going on? What's wrong with Munir? Nothing, man. She's worried about Khalil. She's a woman. You mean it's not about me this time? Why would it be about you? I don't know. As soon as I came in, everyone stopped talking and went inside. Ezan, you need to see a doctor or someone. You're imagining things like an old, obsessive woman. Come on, Faramaz, tell me what's going on. She's a woman. She misses her husband. Let's walk around the yard a little. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Have you had breakfast? Mm, no, I haven't had breakfast. Monir, was something wrong last night? No. But I saw you crying, didn't I? Mm, I was a bit sad. When I was a kid, I'd used to see you feeling like that a lot, but you always cried when you were alone. Not like last night, among all those people. Well, for once I was sad and wanted to cry. Is that a crime? Monir, are you still mad at me? Uh, you're starting to get on my last nerve. Take this. For heaven's sake, tell me what's going on. Monir. Monir, I swear on my life, I wanted to talk to you for a couple of times, but honestly, I'd never have the courage. What have you done again? Well, look, I'm not a child. You coming here, missing Sayyid Khalil, you being all alone, it's because of that damn day when I took you to the market. If Muhammad hadn't been hurt, I'm sure you would have been in your own house next to Sayyid Khalil right now. Why are you so kind all of a sudden? You never said things like that. Monia, believe me, I swear on my life, I was terrified when I was pulling out Muhammad from under all that wreckage and dust. I just died a million times. Thank God he's all right. From that day on, I wasn't able to look into Sayyid Khalil's eyes. Monia, if you talk to him over the phone, please, tell him I know what I did was wrong and that I know it was my fault. Tell him I'm sorry. Okay, I will. Do you have any messages for our affair? If you get the chance to talk to her, tell her I said I haven't broken the promise I made her. You are not alone. Anyone who's in love is cuckoo. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Come on, eh, son. Take the storage oil shared to the customers. Ramaz, you take the car. And eh, son, stay here. I want to talk to you. Very well. No one's answering the phone. Hello? Um, hello. I wanted to make a collect call to 2270 Koramsha. I'll do my best, ma'am. The phone lines aren't so good these days. Thank you. What happened? No one's answering the phone at our place. So I gave them the police station's number. Thank you so much. Oh, you are so welcome. Please enjoy it. Manir, honey, you can't get through like this. Dial 116 and the operator will put you through. I just did. It didn't work. I wish Amir were home. 
Most of his friends work at the telecommunications company. We can get through, but no one's answering the phone. Well, what's wrong with that? That's nothing to be worried about. They must be really busy. Honey, does anyone in your neighborhood have a phone in their house? Yes, she's right. Maybe the neighbors know where he is. Let's wait and see if we'll hear from the police. Oh, damn it, Jafar. First, this goes in here. You can't predict anything here. You have to pack your bags and go to Avaz. We can't go to Avaz without your father's permission. I don't know what father's waiting for. All he's doing is stalling. Father said we're going to leave once a couple of friends and their families get together. If he doesn't do anything about it until tomorrow, I'll send you off myself. We don't need you to worry about us. Worry about yourself. Ahmad, Mama's right. Don't get too close to the Iraqis. I'm careful. And we're in the city center. Can't anyone take your place there? Ah, Mother, don't get started again. I'm not alone. I'm with my friends. So far's here. Let's get moving. Will you come back home at night? I don't know. Ooh. But I'll definitely come home tomorrow. Is there anything you need? Be careful. I will, Mother. Goodbye. What took you so long, man? Hold your horses, man. Stop honking your horn so much. You're giving everyone a headache, buddy. What's that? Don't you see? It's a J3. I couldn't put it back together. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> so what you planning on doing with I it? I want to give it to Ahmad to do it. <laughs> You're going to humiliate yourself, you poor Find thing. Mind your own business. Don't make me hit you in the head. Come on, get on. Hey, Ahmad. Hey, Ahmad. Hold it. Oh, goodness. Where are you going? Hello. Hello. I'm going, um, the guys and I are going to the base. You're not going anywhere. What's that you're holding? This. This. It's nothing. It's nothing? You're holding a J3 in your hands and you're saying it's nothing? Get in the house. Father, Move I have it. things to do. I have I can't to talk go to home. you. Go on. Look, I have things to do. I have to talk ah. to you. Go inside. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Go get the gun back. We're leaving tomorrow afternoon. I can't leave my friends hanging. I can't. Well, darling, tell them your father said so. It's not like so. it's a kindergarten for me to say that. They're killing people and moving forward. You want me to just turn my back? So what if they're killing people? It's none of our concern. Anyone who started the revolution can go stand against them. This place doesn't belong to one or two people. How could you say stuff like that? Who knows who's going to be dead or alive tomorrow? If it's God's will, then they'll throw a bomb and it'll land on the top of our heads and kill us all. Mama, there's someone on the phone for you. Who's calling at this time of day? Tell them to call back. Who is it? Manire. She's calling from out of town. Manire? Ahmad, have you seen Khalil recently? She's called us to say she's worried about him. Leave me alone. Don't come home with a gun, you understand? Tell me if you've seen him. I haven't. I want you to put things we need into four or five bags. We're leaving tomorrow. Is that clear? Manira said we can go to their town. She said it's safe and they have a place for us to stay. Girl, don't you know no city in Iran is safe anymore? But they're doing just fine down there. Go on. Go on and stop minding other people's business. Go and help your mother with the packing, so you won't nag about not packing this or that. Go on already, girl. Uh. I told Khalil to pay a cordial visit to the girl's father and to purchase an expensive-looking ring for her in your name. If Khalil goes to Tehran to get his wife and kids, We'll go with them too, but there's one condition. You have to work here until the end of fall and not leave me alone. Agreed? Very well, Father. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's good, it's good. I know it's fine. They've closed the road, and in fact, 
they've invaded the north of Khurram Shah. During this time, the brave people of Khurram Shah stood against the guarding forces and the army heroically. And with the empty hands, they bravely stood up against the invading mercenary enemies. The footage you're seeing now is the footage taken of when the Iraqi forces entered Khurram Shah and was broadcast in Baghdad. What's wrong? Have you seen a ghost? We thought it was Eshan. Didn't I tell you to stay with the kids? Oh, well, they're busy. They're having fun playing. You shouldn't watch this. You might get scared. It's not good for the baby. Nothing will happen to me. I'm a big girl, you know. Didn't you hear what she said? Go on already. All right, I'll go. I'm sorry I interrupted your family meeting. I didn't know I'm a stranger in this house. شست بر لبن خدایا سرانه های بی قراری شبست و می شکر ز چشمم زنان چشم سار جاری صدای جاری Cheers.